We welcome you to the family. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you got a question, send me a PM through all my various different social media sites, or you can leave a comment on YouTube. So today we're going to be talking about the two different mindsets of resistance and relief. Now I find that a lot of artists tend to have a resisting mindset, but I feel that they should transition more so into the uh, relief mindset because I feel that uh, when you're in the resistance mindset, you tend to take a lot longer, like for example, five or seven years to improve as opposed to the relief mindset, you improve in like a year or perhaps three, three years or so. So you would want to enter the uh, reliefing mindset for faster development and improvement. So more so the resisting mindset is when you really, really want it bad. You really want to achieve that goal that you so desire. For example, for athletes, you really want to achieve that gold medal really, really bad. And that you, you have in your mind that if you don't achieve that gold medal, there's a consequence in the back of your mind that, oh, I... I'm such a bad person or, or this is going to ruin my entire life. So that resistant mindset is when in the back of your mind, you feel that there's a type of consequence as opposed to like the uh, relief mindset. So the relief mindset, you see your mistakes as just stepping stones to your uh, greater success. In the back of your mind, mistakes wouldn't really be that detrimental to you as opposed to the resisting mindset. And so to compare some athletes and artists, uh, they're both have, they both have the self-concept that they are the role of the uh, competitor, that they must win. And failure is not an option. Any mistakes is not an option. Uh, so they end up putting a huge amount of stress to themselves as opposed to like the athletes that do win or the artists that do you know manage to grow in terms of improvement their mindset is more so of a reliefing mindset in which they're really free and they're and they're really accepting of the mistakes that are coming to them and so the resistance mindset tends to uh make athletes quit their job at playing the game and artists quit their their goal at making art and that's due to the fact that uh, the fun is gone the fun has disappeared because they're so caught up in the resistance the competition of the art instead of going with the process now to give an example of a release a relief mindset based artist they tend to uh, trust their body to handle the uh, pen motions. And if they make a mistake, it isn't uh, a big deal because they see it as a stepping stone. So compared to the, uh, the artist that has a whole lot of resistance in their mindset, uh, they end up overthinking every motion with the pencil and wanting to avoid the mistakes. But what they're doing at a emotional level is that they're feeding into that tension they're feeding into that resistance as it mentally grows stronger and stronger and it hinders their improvement while they're still in the resistance mindset and i feel that separates the artist that improves fast versus the uh, artist that slowly improves so an artist with a mindset of relief if he or she made a pen stroke she'll he, he or she would be like, oh, that's just a small mistake. Just, it's just whatever. I'll just erase it and then continue on as opposed to shouting at themselves and getting angry. They're, they're putting more focus into, you know, the relief, therefore gaining improvement a lot more faster. And so you see this in artists and various other athletes that they tend to use uh, drugs and alcohol to stress out the mind to ease the mind so that they could uh, focus on their big game or their art so i don't necessarily advocate the use of any harmful external substances but uh be aware that uh your peace of mind is your greatest form of advancement so to be in a reliefing mindset is more beneficial 
And there are other practices that release you from the uh, resistance mindset. For example, uh, meditation or binaural beats. I did a video on that. Or eating healthy to get that stress-free free mindset. Because, uh, you know, good food make you feel good. So, yeah. And that will be the video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, leave a like. If you enjoyed the uh, the video, subscribe to the family. Uh, it, it's really burning up in here. I just turned off the fan to record this video, and my mind is just getting is just on a daze right now. So yeah, that'll be the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.